Slide the hub up onto the shaft with the key in place, nutting it in place. When nutting it down, I'd use a big 12 inch crescent wrench to, to nut it in place. Torque it down basically as hard as you can with a big 12 inch crescent wrench. Once nutted in place, there can be only one to two threads of, this, of the shaft exposed after the nut. On a U.S. built boat, there will be some threads exposed. Those need to be cut off with a hacksaw. So basically take it one thread after the nut and cut it off. When tightening up the nut, what you'll need to do is tighten it up to where you create a complete circle between the, the half moons on the nut and the half moon on the propeller. That complete circle then allows you to put the pins in place. And the pins will be put in place with the, the flat side facing out. When the pins are in place, the flat section of the pin is facing out and the, the full barrel is below the shelf. That allows the cone gear to seat fully. When the pins are inserted, this flat needs to be below the shelf that it goes into. So it needs to be fully inserted so, so as not to bind up the flat surface of the cone gear.